Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing the hugest homemade squishy collection I have ever seen on YouTube. I don't think I've made the most homemade squishies out of anyone, but most people who make a lot of homemade squishies sell most of them. I've only sold a handful of my homemade squishies because I like to hoard mine. <laughs> if you wanna see these squishies but you don't wanna hear any talking, I have a no commentary version of this video. The link is right in the description. You can click on there, it's shorter, so I'm not gonna go in a super strict order, but I am gonna start roughly with the older ones that I made and then make my way toward the ones that I've just made recently. The older ones are not very slow rising. They're just kind of soft and foamy. When I first started, I didn't even know what slow rising meant. It wasn't until I posted a video about my squishies and people were commenting things like, you can't even call these squishies because they're not slow rising. And I was like, what the devil does slow rising mean? <laughs> Most of these beginning ones I made out of polyfoam, but you will see other sorts of squishies in this video too, have no fear. I don't even know what this one is, some sort of bagel donut sandwich thing, I don't even know. What What is that? If you don't like dessert, you may not like these squishies because most of them are desserts. Ooh, this one feels like spiky. It's like a hand massage. If you're wondering how I made any of these, you can go back and look at old updates but today is about getting through these relatively quickly, so I kind of want to get through this video before I die, so I can't spend all the time talking about each one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. It's so cute. Kind of scratchy though. Watermelon donut. Oh! Oh, I still love this one. It's a s'mores themed donut. This one doesn't have much of a personality, I will say. But it's still cute. Red velvet cake. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'd say that's slow rising. This is one of those strawberry shortcake popsicles. Little macaron. Kinda ugly, but I still like it for whatever reason. Cotton candy cupcake. I actually wrote cotton candy on there, why? I used to put my signature on each and every one. M-E stands for Mariah Elizabeth, which is my name. Spoiler alert, I don't put my initials on them anymore. <laughs> I use tags now, which you will see shortly. I think this is the first non-dessert item I've showed so far. I like desserts. I was so happy with this one when I made it. I still think it's good actually, but I just remember like being so happy with it. Citrus cake. What did I use for this fruit? I think it's density foam because it doesn't feel like memory foam. Ooh, it's very hard. This one is a squishy rock. <laughs> I used a different brand of foam for this one, which obviously does not work very well. Here's a little cake roll thing. I, I don't know what the Twinkie thing. Ooh, the bottom is very messy. <laughs> this one used to be slow rising, but I think I poked too many holes in it. Mm. Oh, I love this one. I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, this one's crunchy. It's a little bit holy. This is another one with that other brand of foam that I was trying for a little while. It's kind of pretty though. My first rainbow cake, Ah. Carrot cake, cupcake. Oh, this one's kind of hard in the center. I don't remember it being like that. I must have used some sort of glue that dries hard. Very springy. Sounds kind of like a dog toy. Oh my gosh, I need to get a drink of water. Uh, here's my cheeseburger. I need to make a remake of this. You will notice that I like rainbow a lot. No particular reason for that, I just think it's pretty. I have this rainbow fruit cupcake series, strawberry one. Orange one. Lemon one. Oh, whoa. That's so weird. The ones that I did, I think with density foam, they kind of got like hard over time. I didn't really like density foam and I started using memory foam. 
Here's the green one, which is lime flavored. My personal favorite in the series. Here's the blueberry one. And finally, the grape one. Yeah, good thinking making the signature in green because you can totally see that. I am now venturing into some memory foam. This is supposed to be a marshmallow, but it's like a block. I did a bunch of marshmallows, which I've thought about redoing these because I think I could do better now. But these were the first memory foam squishies I ever made. They don't even really look like marshmallows. Chocolate marshmallow. Neapolitan marshmallow. Did these freeze pop squishies. Oh, I just found another marshmallow. This one's actually kind of cute, not too bad. I have tons of little makeup sponge cake slices, so we're gonna go through these pretty quick. Here's a vanilla one, strawberry one, chocolate, watermelon slice, kind of an ugly shaped one. <laughs> this one's cool. Chocolate vanilla half and half cake. This one, rainbow cake, ombre cake, um, alien cake. This one's cute. A cake slice for each color of the rainbow. Cherry pie. Here's a cheesecake. Key lime pie. More cake. Red velvet cake. Something swirly something cake. Funfetti cake. Rainbow sparkle cake. <gasps> More cake. Cotton candy cake. Pastel rainbow cake. This is cool. Forgot about this. Double chocolate cake. Interesting. These three who are friends. These are more recent. I call these brownie cakes. Here's this little trio. Pink, purple, and blue. Two chocolate ones. And two vanilla ones. I have a bunch of Pop-Tarts. Here's a strawberry Pop-Tart, a chocolate Pop-Tart, this Pop-Tart. If you haven't noticed, all my mini squishies do come with a little cell phone strap. S'mores Pop-Tart, another chocolate one, and this one. Oh gosh, I forgot about these. These are really old, so they should have been in the beginning, but they're like little Turkish delights, I guess. There's those. Holy cow. I'm legitimately scared right now. <laughs> so we're getting to the newer ones, which come with a little tag, like so. They will not have the little signature on them anymore. Oh, look, it's right next to the mint chocolate chip donut. Wow, those are like identical colors. Here's a little marble bunt cake. Something just popped. Uh, bread roll? This is quite realistic. Donut with powdered sugar. Here's cupcake, quite sticky. Here's a twirly whirly popsicle thingy. Here's a rainbow bunt cake. Oh, an airplane. Great. We don't have time for airplanes. Oh, this is a new one that has like a custom tag to match it. Strawberry tart. Glittery, <coughs> glittery something or other cake slice. This ginormous rainbow cake slice. Oh, I've missed you. Here's a pink popsicle, lopsided donut, little cake loaf, strawberry, or what? How is this strawberry in any way? It's a heart donut. Here's a big fat chocolate rainbow. Ooh, this one's kind of firm. Little cookie, a big lollipop. Here's a cookie donut. 
with filling in it. I don't know how that's possible to have a donut that's filled with a hole in it, but you know. Here's a big Neapolitan ruler donut. Here's a bunch of little cake rolls, pink one, a rainbow filled one, blue one, and a chocolate one. Oh, I found another Pop-Tart. <laughs> Here's an Oreo one. I have a ton of decorated Hello Kitty donuts, so I'll start showing some of these. Sometimes I paint the back, sometimes I leave it plain like this. Here's a glittery one. Pink one with sprinkles. Skittles themed Hello Kitty. an Oreo themed Hello Kitty, or cookies and cream, whatever. Here's a little cinnamon roll type thing. I don't know what it is, with rainbow inside. A classic cinnamon roll. Here's an eclair. Another eclair. A rainbow cake. Another one. I think I have like four rainbow cakes in total, maybe? This kind of flat cupcake. Chocolate cupcake. A watermelon slice. A stack of pancakes. This is huge, oh my gosh. I haven't squished this in like a year. That is a lot of butter. A naked cupcake. I have a bunch of decorated ice cream cones also. Here's more cake. The sprinkles made it into the cake somehow. <laughs> Here's a raspberry cheesecake. My other lollipop. Cake loaf and a little cake tin. Here's a memory foam cotton candy. Burrito and chips and guacamole. This actually comes out of the container. I have two candy apples and these are actually pretty old. Like I said, the order that I'm going in is not perfect. Green apple, red apple. I have a bunch of Klondike bars from Makeup Sponges. Here's the classic Klondike bar. Here's a pink one, an Oreo one. This one is cookie dough. This one is just cookie. I keep on throwing ones that match perfectly right next to each other. Hmm. This crazy candy one. My personal favorite. And a Neapolitan one. Let's do some more Hello Kitties. Here's some fruit themed ones. This one is strawberry. Where's the tag for this one? <gasps> Here's the watermelon one. Oh my gosh, I did it again! I think that just means that I have really repetitive designs. <laughs> Here is a couple rainbow Hello Kitties. This one is pastel, and this one's a little bit brighter, drippy, rainbow. I'm not showing every single tag, but I'm trying to show a couple of them just so you can see the variety. I have two chocolate bars. This one is milk chocolate, and they do crack. This one is cookies and cream. Here's my big rainbow bunt cake. Here's a little blue ice cream cone. Those sprinkles are a little on the globby side. Another twirly lollipop. A little cookie. 
Here's a couple more ice cream cones. This one is rainbow. This one is rainbow, <laughs> but rainbow drippy, they are different. A couple more Hello Kitties. This one is s'mores themed. This one is chocolate. Here's some sugar cookies. Purple heart, a blue star, and a pink heart. The backs are just plain. Here's a jumbo cupcake with memory foam frosting. A little mini bitten donut. A blue popsicle. This donut. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, like candy or colorful chocolate chips, I don't know. Here's some memory foam breakfast items. Breakfast. Sounded like I said breakfast. I hate when people say that. <laughs> Here's a fried egg. A blueberry muffin. A piece of toast with strawberry jam. Kind of looks like the toast got stabbed and it's bleeding and all its guts are coming out. I don't know, just my interpretation. And a breakfast sandwich. It's supposed to be English muffin, bacon, egg and cheese. Here's a big chocolate cake slice, four layers, look at that. Here's a rainbow donut. I don't know. I hear circus music when I see this one. <laughs> this is definitely one of my all-time favorite homemade squishies that I've ever made. Fruit cupcake. Beautiful fruit. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna have an avalanche soon. <laughs> Another cupcake. This one has gummy bears on top, and the gummy bears are squishy also. Here's a big fat chocolate bundt cake with lots of air in it. Oh my gosh, they're falling! I know it looks flat, but this is seriously a huge mound of squishies. There's a pink ice cream cone. Oh my gosh, I think I have yeah, look at this. This is a decorated ice cream cone, but I used the same exact design. More cake. I just started doing that recently, making the sprinkles out of polymer clay. Here's another cupcake. This cake. Here's another one with polymer clay. I have a couple of memory foam cookies. We got your red velvet, which does crack. Sugar cookie with sprinkles. And double chocolate. These are actually really old memory foam squishies. Uh, this is a brownie and a sugar cookie with some icing. Chocolate cake. It's kind of stiff. A chocolate Hello Kitty donut. I believe this is supposed to be cotton candy themed Hello Kitty donut, or maybe I just always think cotton candy when I see blue and pink. I have a bunch of hair curler squishies, which are all cake rolls. This rainbow one, a chocolate filled one, a blue one, this one, white Eastery looking one, and a chocolate one, which is not the squishiest. Here's a big marble cake. I have this kind of weird watermelon cake. Looks like a watermelon and then it's suddenly a cake, I don't know. I have a bunch of random circular makeup sponge squishies. Here's an Oreo. 
a little cookie sandwich, and here's a couple more. Whoops. <laughs> this is a little cream pie thingy, a moon pie, colorful moon pie. Here's a cake pop. This is a big snow cone. A strawberry with rainbow inside. I like to call this a birthday croissant. Here's a little heart donut. This one is so cute, I think. Here's a little tiny pink bunt cake. This is another very slow rising one. You're not really getting to see how slow rising some of these are because I don't have time to like sit here and show you how long it takes for them to rise, but a lot of them are pretty slow rising. A bunt cake. Another jumbo cupcake. It has little metallic details. This is my channel mascot. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, it's my pastel rainbow cupcake. These are the last two decorated ice creams that I have. This one is chocolate. And this one is rainbow stripey whatever. Another Hello Kitty. Here's a couple mini decorated squishies. A little bonbon with some ambiguous filling. Heart cookie. And a mini donut. Here's Winnie the Pooh, the Zoom Zoom. This is the only non-food squishy that I have, but I do have big plans to make more non-food squishies in the future. Here are some memory foam eclairs, this rainbow one with sprinkles. This is a classic eclair. And a pink one with whipped cream. Here's a cloud one with a rain bow, you get it? Rainbow on the back. This is a tie-dye one, rocking a gold bow. These two are kind of similar, but not. This one is kind of like a birthday cake theme, maybe, something like that. This one is chocolate. For, what, for whatever reason, it reminds me of coffee. Here's a chocolate cake loaf. A very large strawberry shortcake. Most of the time I just make up stuff out of my head, but um, this is inspired by a real squishy that's already out there. I have a couple panda buns that have been decorated. This one, which has like a party cake filling. This big one, it used to be a panda bun, so now I guess it's a dessert bun. I'm not really sure, but it's pretty cute and this little cream-filled powdered sugar bun. Here are the last two Hello Kitties. I have a pizza-themed one, and this pastel one. We've got this rainbow ice cream cone, which I actually did this one quite a while ago. Here's a big, tall cupcake with chocolate frosting. And the final two cakes, this lavender funfetti cake. And this little pink cake with some whipped cream. Here's another couple of memory foam squishies. This is a jelly-filled donut. One of my favorite memory foam squishies, a cookie ice cream sandwich. And a cream filled donut with blue frosting. Oh my gosh, I've made it. These are the last six squishies that I have. They are all Disney princess squishies. 
each princess is pictured on the tag. This one is Cinderella. This one is Rapunzel. Here is Elsa, and I guess Elsa is technically a queen, but you know what, whatever. She's still in the Disney princess group in my mind. Here is Snow White, my personal favorite. This is Jasmine. Belle. Finally, Ariel. In case you're wondering what it looks like from the side, here is the squishy mountain. Ah, oh, okay. Opie is just chilling in all the plastic bags. If you've made it to the end of this video, that's amazing. I don't know if anybody will. Let me know in the comments if you made it to the end because I am so proud of you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.